All right, this is fifth grade, module four, lesson 19, and we're going to be converting measures involving whole numbers, and we're going to be solving some word problems as well. So, uh, interesting thing about Engage New York and how they do it is, um, so we're going to look here, and what they do is they take this two feet, and they think of it as two, as in this two right here, that two, times one foot. And then they take the foot, and since we want it to be yards, we know that one foot is equal to a third of a yard. And now we do two times a third, and we know how to do two times a third. Two times a third is equal to two times one over three, and that's equal to two-thirds. And so the answer is Two times one-third is two-thirds, so the answer is two-thirds yards. Okay, so now let's scoot over here, and let's see if we can uh, continue that and practice here with a little bit of scaffolding. So we've got six feet. So that's really the same thing as six times one foot. Now, because we want yards, we want to turn six feet into yards, we're going to take that one foot and turn it into a third of a yard, because three feet is equal to a yard. So one foot is one-third, or one out of three. And now six times one-third, and so six times one-third, six times one-third is six times one over three, and we know that both six and three are divisible by three. So three divided by three is one, six divided by three is two, so 2 times 1 is 2 over 1, which is 2. So 6 times 1 third is equal to 2. So the answer is 2 yards. And sure enough, 6 feet is equal to 2 yards. That makes sense. Because if you have 6 feet, we know that if you have 3 feet, that equals a yard and then another three feet, and that equals a yard. All right, so that makes sense. So let's practice this without the scaffolding. So we've got seven ounces. So I want you to think of that as seven times one ounce. And then I want you to think of that as seven times. Now, what is an ounce? We want it to be in relation to a pound. So we know that there's 16 ounces in a pound, so one ounce is one sixteenth of a pound. So now seven times one sixteenth is equal to seven sixteenths of a pound. And that's the answer. So I have to laugh because, and I'm going to confess here, because I... Pints and quarts. I couldn't remember how many pints were in a quart, so I had to Google it. And in fact, I even said uh, four, point, uh, four pints equals how many quarts, and it told me the answer. So uh, if you get stuck, parents, teachers, Google it. But here's how uh, we would do this in Engage New York or Eureka Math. So we're going to start with four, four pints, and we're going to think of that as four times one pint, and every time, I gotta tell you, every time I see this PT, I always think points, like I'm scoring points, but it's actually pint. All right, so four times one pint, and then it's gonna be four times, but now we wanna do it in terms of quarts. Well, it turns out it takes two pints to equal a quart. So one pint is a half of a quart. So now, four times a half. So over here on scratch paper, four times a half, that's going to be equal to four over two, which is equal to two. So teachers, you may need to take a moment and refresh your students on why all this is. Um, so the answer is two quarts, because four times a half is two quarts. So the answer is two quarts. And the last problem for this video. Sarah and her dad visit Yo-Yo Yogurt again. 
Uh, this time, the scale says that Sarah has 14 ounces of vanilla yogurt in her cup. Her father's yogurt weighs half as much. How many pounds of frozen yogurt did they buy all together? And express your answer as a mixed number. So first, let's figure out how many ounces they, they got. So Sarah and Dad. So Sarah, she got 14 ounces. Dad bought half as much. So that means her father's yogurt weighs half as much. So he has 7 ounces. So we now have 21 total. 21 ounces. And we want to turn 21 ounces into pounds, LB. So we know that 21 ounces is equal to 21 times 1 ounce. And then that's 21 times 1 16th of a pound. And then 21 times 1 16th is going to be 21 sixteenths pounds. And technically that's the answer, except they want us to write the answer as a mixed number. So 21 sixteenths, we can think of that as 16 sixteenths and 5 sixteenths. So that equals 1 pound and 5 sixteenths left over. So the answer is 1 pound, 5 sixteenths left over. 1 and 5 sixteenths pounds. And that wraps up Grade 5, Module 4, Lesson 19, where we are converting measures.